Oh, there's a fish. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. There we go. No, 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 no. Get back here in the calm stuff. Get back here in the calm stuff. Come on. There we go. Wow. That's a, that's a frisky fish right there. This is Hates Wanderings, and today we are fly fishing in a beautiful, absolutely stunningly beautiful location. Look at this. See that in the background? Tell me that's not just juicy back there. Just, just juicy. Um, so, I'm going to switch hands because my, uh, my arm's tired. I've just been smashing some smallies, and I am tired. So today is a special video. Uh, we are fly fishing today. You guys know that on this channel we don't fly fish too much, um, but today we're out fly fishing. We're waiting. I uh, I posted on Instagram last night and I said, "Hey, I got a free day. What should I do?" The options were smash crappie for catch and cook, kayak um, for brook trout kayak for some warm water species or waiting for smallmouth fly fishing and most people said go waiting with a fly rod go catch some smallies so that is what we're doing today this so far has turned out to be a really really good day um, last year uh, I came out on the first day of summer and went ham uh, with a CK bait fish, which was the fly I was using. And today, today I'm switching it up. Today I'm using a Tequili fly. Um, and so far the smallies are, they're reacting really nicely. I'll show you guys exactly what I'm using here. All right, we got a six weight. That's an Orvis six weight with a, a little Tequili there tied on with a non-slip loop. This is what I brought today. It's an absolute mess. But uh, <laughs> this right here, or this one actually, this is what we used last year, the CK bait fish. Uh, but today I was feeling like, let's, let's try something new. So I was saying that today's a special day. Um, and the reason for that is that, you know, I'm a high school teacher and today is, the first day of summer. Uh, school got out yesterday and so every year I try to do a trip on the first day of summer and 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 today's turned out really well. Oh my gosh. Um, last night we started off with a full rack of barbecue ribs and a triple of Mackinac Island fudge with another couple scoops of cookie dough. That's what it was. Um, if you guys know the, uh, the ice cream bait shop in Channing, Michigan, stop by there. They are awesome people and they provide some great ice cream. So stop by sometime. Um, but anyways, that was last night. Today, today we're on the river. Water's really, yeah, the water's dropping. It's still a little high, but it's dropping and uh, I think the bass are pre-spawn. I hope they're pre-spawn. I hope that I'm not targeting spawning fish. I haven't seen any beds yet, so I don't really know. But uh, I've caught some in the middle of the river and a couple on the side of the river, so I'm not really sure what's going on, but we're having fun, and I hope you guys are enjoying this content. Let's get back to fly fishing. Uh, but before I go, I do want to say one thing. Um, 
if you're watching this and you're looking for you know tips and tricks of fly fishing i gotta be honest i'm i'm not the best fly fisherman i'm i'm probably a pretty average fly fisherman um i can catch fish and i can be dangerous with fly rod um but i don't really know the ins and the outs so you know think of me as your average joe fly fisherman yes i kind of know what i'm doing but most of the time it's just trial and error and there's probably a million better ways to catch fish than what i'm doing but i'm having fun and i'm catching fish so basically i think that's all there is to it all right guys let's go slay some more fish right now I just kicked up a fish right here. There was a fish here. Darn it. I swear I went right over that thing. Oh my gosh, I just kicked up another fish right here. What the heck? How am I not seeing these, seeing these things? What the heck? Oh, there's a fish. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oh, oh. Where'd she go? This fish is bruiser right here. Wow. Caught that guy on the Tequili. Nice. Here we go. That's a sick fish right there. Sick. Great fish. Woo! All right, guys. So I started off fishing in some slower water and I didn't catch anything and I moved to some faster water and I picked up a fish and I kind of thought I might need to fish some faster stuff. I got a second bite uh, and then I kind of moved farther up river here and I'm at this little island and I was walking along and I saw some plumes come up right here in the shallow stuff. And I thought to myself, dang, that has to be a fish. So I took my tequili right here and I cast it up into this shallow water right here. And I knew I had a fish on before I actually even felt it. I saw a commotion in the water and this tequili just got smacked hard by that smallmouth. Um, this is a fun little fly right here. I have it weighted down significantly right now so i have to fish it really fast usually it's a, a slower presentation but um let's keep fishing and uh see if we can't get a few more
Oh, there we go. That's a fish. That's a fish. Oh, ho, ho. I just saw a fish wake. thought that was a fish but that's just a big stick There we go. Fish is on it. Fish is on it. Ah, I saw him. Nice. Nice. Wow. That was intense. This is a nice one too. Come on. There we go. Nice fish. Wow. Great fish. It's a little tequili. Just mess this bad boy up. Look at that one. Wow. Great fish. Look at how big she is. There she goes. She's right there. You can't see her. She's right there. Wow, that was a big fish. So I just caught two fish right here. Um, that fish was awesome. That fish came out and um, she hunted down the fly and I saw it happen. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't think, I don't think these fish are spawning yet. I, I really don't. Um, I'm hoping that I'm not fishing on bass beds I, they don't they don't look like bass beds to me um, it's definitely not my intention to fish spawning bass if that's what's happening but I really don't think that's it I think these fish are just up there maybe they're pre-spawn I'm not sure So I haven't actually fished this spot right here for probably like six, seven, eight years. It's been a long time. Um, I know I caught a fish here once like six years ago, but right now this just looks so delicious along that, that seam. There's that 
slow water going right down there. I'm thinking I'm gonna pick up a fish in there. So. Sometimes you just gotta try stuff that you've fished before and, or never fished before or anything. Oh, there's a fish right there. You see that? Gotta be nice and quiet. Here we go. Fish, fish, fish. No. Oh. Just lost a nice one. Just lost a really nice fish right there. There she is. There she is. She's on. She's on. She's on. There we go. That's a big smallmouth. That's a big smallmouth. There we go. Whoa. Wow. All right. All right. Let's get this. Wow, that is a big, big smallmouth. That is a huge, huge smallmouth. I just dropped my my uh, rod in the water there. That's nice. Tequili. Holy smokes! Look at that one. She's huge. Let's see how long she is in the net. We have. The 10, the 10 to the, that's, that's probably a 19 right there. Gosh, she's a huge fish. There she goes. She's right there. You can't see her. She's right there. Wow, that was a big fish. Wow. Whew. I think that was small in number four, I believe. So that fish, she came charging right off that. And that might've been the second time because I hooked one just 10 seconds prior, but she just came, boo, smash. And I knew I had a fish. I knew I had a fish. 
That was so cool. That was so cool. Um, wow. Four big smallies on a six weight today. Six weight is definitely undergunned. I needed something a little bit heavier. Um, wow. Hope you guys are enjoying this fly fishing content. Uh, I don't do this very often, but sometimes, sometimes you just gotta sling the fly for a while. Um, I'm feeling like I'm gonna get a bunch more fish, so let's keep fishing and uh, uh, let's just let's go slay some more. All right, guys. So I'm taking a little bit of a break here, and I kind of wanted to talk about that uh, that first fish that we caught. Um, maybe it's the second fish, third fish. Shoot, I don't even know which fish it was. Um, it was just incredibly cool to uh, to see the fish coming in. You know, I I I, I sent my fly up and. I'm stripping back, stripping back, and I see this, you know, this bulge of water behind it. And I look in, and I actually see the fish, right? I pause the fly, and uh, the smallie just, but I didn't feel anything. And I was like, should I set? Should I not set? Should I set? Oh, I set. And thank goodness that fish was on. Um, my six weight is just, just not cutting it today, though. Um, I really need a seven or an eight. Uh, I have an eight in my truck right now. But for some reason, I just decided to get the six weight out. Um, I wanted to use the six weight because, uh, well, because it's a newer rod and, uh, <laughs> and I wanted to give it a little bit of practice. But uh, definitely river fishing for smallies, you just you need more backbone. Um, and a six, a six weight just does not cut it, in my opinion. If you're fishing for 14 inch bass, sure. But an 18 incher in current, ooh, not enough. Oh. So I'm just kind of enjoying myself here. This little, little creek is just so beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, uh, This is a perfect, perfect start to summer. Absolutely perfect. Maybe I'll catch a muskie. That might actually make it even, even better. I'm sure there's a muskie in this pool right here in front of me. Guaranteed there's a muskie out there. I just, I don't think it's gonna hit a tequili fly. I don't know about you guys. Um, if I could do a poll in a YouTube video, I'd put a poll up right now and it's does, does hates wanderings catch a muskie? in this pool, in this video, on a tequili fly. Uh, I'd say 99% of you would say, absolutely not. But it's possible, so who knows? Um, who absolutely knows? This is great, guys. All right, let's, uh, let's go catch some more fish. Um, I took a little break, and uh, I'm feeling good. So, let's roll. Just lost a muskie. Dang. Oh, I didn't know I had a fish on. I didn't know I had one on. Hey, buddy. Not a huge fish, but a, a nice one, though. Great colors. This one doesn't feel too big. 
But that's a small eye. No idea how many fish I'm up to, but I'm doing well. All right. There we go, baby. There we go. Got me another. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for biting, beautiful. Oh, there she goes. All righty, and this Tequili is dead. The Tequili caught so many fish that it destroyed, self-destructed, couldn't take it. Let's do this guy. The non-slip loop knot so that it stays, it can go all over the place. I mean, it's a bit of a big loop, but that's all right. These smallies don't care. All right, this is the first cast with the CK bait fish. Put that tequili away because it just got destroyed. Let's try this guy. First cast. Oh my golly, that was disgusting for my first cast. Uh, that was disgusting, but whatever. Ooh, I got a feeling it's gonna get bit. Like a nice one. Wow, look at that beast. Absolute beast of a smallmouth. It's a really big fish. She's probably 19. 19. Wow. There we go. It's like a nice one. No, don't run that way. Don't run that way. Look at that one right there. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. Oh. Beautiful. Ooh. Hey guys. This is uh, probably me coming to the end of the day. Um, I just had a mosquito on my face. Um, I have no idea how many fish I caught today. I could have caught five fish, I could have caught 15 fish. Um, caught a lot of fish. Um, I also missed a couple fish. <laughs> I fished with that uh, tequili, 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 I think it's called a tequili fly. I fished with that early on and then uh, after it got destroyed, I decided to switch it up. And since I decided to switch it up, I've not done as well, um, but I did probably catch the largest smallie of the day on that CK bait fish. Um, and then I missed a big, big muskie on the uh, CK bait fish. I, uh, I, I hooked into it, I saw it, it thrashed, and it was gone. <sighs> Which it's always uh, a bummer losing out on one of those big, big muskie. 
but the truth is it's probably a good thing all I have is a six weight um, there's no way I would have got that musky in uh, would have taken forever anyways though let's uh, let's talk um, first day of summer check smallmouth on the fly check an absolute banger of a time check uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this I'm gonna probably be doing some more fly fishing content this summer I hope um, but my guided trips do start up like in a couple of days so I'm gonna be busy 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 and I'll be posting I'll probably be posting more to Instagram than I am to YouTube so if you guys are uh, missing out on that uh, hates wanderings content check me out on Instagram as well um, I'll be posting some shorts on YouTube and um, it's my goal to hopefully post at least one video true video per month this summer um, but we'll see we'll see how that how that goes um, it takes a lot of time and energy to make these videos I know that sounds crazy but it's true and uh, I could be either fishing sleeping hanging out with my daughter or editing video content and I feel like I might just leave that for the winter we'll see all right guys um, I hope you've all had a great day as well hopefully you guys got some fish yourself hopefully you enjoyed this video I think I said that already catch release wander I'll see you guys in the next one well I just fell in the water and my waders filled up so I'm going home because I'm cold and wet. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next, the next video. But for now, I am cold and wet. Well, this is just beautiful though. Just dang beautiful.